what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video and today i'm gonna be reviewing the, the steel series rival 3 uh gaming mouse so i'm gonna start off with the specs and tell you guys um what it what it has and what's like different from other mouses since uh this one is a budget mouse and uh, there's not a lot of information on this mouse online so might as well just share it since i already have it <clears throat> you might have heard of it the uh, rival 3 but let me guys let me show you guys the um specs so here's a box for it i would, as you can see i already opened it so this is just a box just to show you guys um what's in the box you can see that has a true move core uh I don't really think it's a uh, much different from any other gaming mouse uh, sensor. Maybe it might be like a tiny bit accurate, um, but that's the uh, that's the sensor that it uses. And then the, the mouse sensitivity goes all the way up to eight thousand five hundred CPI. And if you don't know what, what CPI is, it's basically like DPI, but it's a little bit different. And then the maximum speed is 300 IPS. Maximum acceleration is 35G. And switch rating is durable for 60 million clicks, which I assume for both, for each one it's 60 million. Um, so it'll last a long time. You don't have to worry about that. And then it's right-handed. Uh, I've seen people say it's pretty good for left-handers too. And then uh, the one I got was just matte black. I think there's only one color. And yes, there is onboard memory for just the RGB. Um, and it does have a software for it, but it's it's all right. It's the uh, Steel Series software. And then there's a three zone RGB. And it's also it also weighs 77 grams. So for so it is a pretty lightweight mouse. Uh, more on the lightweight side but it's not completely light like the model o or some other uh light like completely lightweight mouse so it, it's a it has a good balance and in my opinion i like middle range weight since i can control my mouse easier when i'm playing video games uh it's all oh yeah i forgot to tell you guys it's also wired it's not wireless um And let's see the back. I mean, there's brilliant prism lighting, which basically means it can connect to every single uh, Steel Series device you have connected to your PC. So if you do have more than one, the RGB will like sync together. So let me show you guys the actual mouse, just right here. Um, it has two buttons right here on the side, two side mouse buttons left click right click scroll wheel and then a scroll wheel um button and this is where you can change your cpi and then the rgb is pretty nice on this one it has like a kind of a glow effect right around it and it has a steel series logo right on the back so that's about it for the rgb and this mouse um and then these are the um the skates they're pretty smooth I've, I've used this mouse for like a couple months now and i've got to say it's really smooth compared to my last one uh also the arch for this mouse kind of feels a little bit lower so when you put your arm down if you have big hands i would not recommend it honestly because if you uh keep your wrist like your whole hand down you can literally just cover it and your your hand will just like touch the ground so that's a good point to um tell you guys so if you if you guys have big hands this is probably not the right mouse because you have to lift it like for you you'll have to like lift the mouse i mean you lift your hand off off the table when playing so uh, if you have big hands then i would probably not recommend um, getting this mouse, but get, probably getting some other mouse like the Viper, the Razer Vi Viper Mini. 
Um, the, the cable has been really sturdy. I mean, not sturdy, but like, it's been pretty f flexible and it's held up really well, in my opinion. A lot of people complain that it has kind of older material. It's not if it's and it's not like a braided, braided cable. But in my opinion, this is it doesn't have much friction going on, so I would highly recommend um, this wired one. This, oh yeah, one one complaint I have is the side mouse buttons. Uh, they're a little bit too small. And you can barely see them, so I'm trying to get a good lighting here. Oh yeah, there. I can show you guys now. So the mouse button right here, these two, they're really small and a little bit harder to press. So if 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 you if you always use your mouse button for like a lot, then you would probably want to get something which has lighter mouse buttons to click on, uh, which is something that I haven't seen a lot of people talk about. And then I'll show you guys a software next um, for the Steel Series uh, Rival Three. So yeah. All right, guys. So now I opened up the software for the Steel Series Engine Three. So that's what the software is called. And basically, it'll work for all your Steel Series devices. Like if you have the Apex Pro, um, it'll automatically connect, and you'll see an Apex Pro. And you can do stuff um, like in apps where this, there's this thing called Prism Sync, where all your uh, Steel Series products will all have like the same RGB. So like if your Apex Pro is blue, your mouse will also be blue, and it'll like keep changing in the same color. So it'll be synchronized. Your RGB will will be synchronized with other products. And then the other cool thing they have is called Audio Visualizer. I bet. If you turn it on, um, it can basically replicate your, what your audio is doing on your uh, mouse. So, like, if there's if there's like a big beat drop, then it'll turn like completely red. But then, if there's light sound, it'll be like orange. So that 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 one's pretty cool. And then for Discord, there's some like Discord notifications. And then the cool one is uh, CS:GO. So like on CSGO, you can see your health and like if you get a kill, it'll change different colors and it's honestly pretty neat. And then, but if I go to the actual uh, Rival 3, there's a configuration. So you can create macros and like change, change what your each mouse button does. For example, like if you're left hand, you can like swap out the left and right mouse buttons. And then you can also change the acceleration so like mouse acceleration and angle snapping and all these other stuff this is where you can also uh set uh your cpi so the middle mouse button right here if you click it you can change the cpi level and you can add more so each time you each time you click it it'll change to a different one like right now i have mine at 800 if i click it again it'll go to 1600 so just like that you can just uh, click this mouse button and then set your custom CPI. And then for illumination, you can create your own uh, custom illuminations. So um, you can basically just do whatever you want over here. I don't really use this. It's kind of useless in my opinion for uh, creating your own il illumination because you have like basically everything. But um, these are basically all the apps on the Skill Series Engine Three, and I hope you, and I hope you guys like like the software for it. I'll show you guys a demonstration of the audio visualizer. It's pretty neat, so I'll show you guys in a bit. I have to cut the video. Okay, so here's how this works. Basically like every beat drop it just turns completely red and then when it's dead silent it's white and then uh, it can go like in between so basically I'm playing a song right now 
and it's basically just mimicking it on a light on how loud it is so the louder the song gets you can kind of see it over there uh like that circle thingy and, and you kind of see it here kind of reflect off of it i think this is better lighting you can see that it reacts to the sound i don't really use this much i don't really use this software but that's no one really talked about the software ever um in any of the videos i've seen on this mouse so might as well um that's it for the video guys if you liked it smash that like button subscribe uh turn on those notifications um <clears throat> Speaking of the price, the price for this is thirty dollars when I got it. It could be it could be different now, but it's it's a it's a budget it's a budget a gaming mouse which you can get. And in my opinion, it's overall really good for the price and everything. Um, my only other option would probably be like the Model D, in my opinion, because I like. I like that mouse better. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And it's been a long time since I uploaded. See you.